Today, I'm taking you all along with me to the Upper East Side to see two of the most beautiful gallery spaces in New York City, in my opinion. They both happen to be LGDR gallery spaces, and we're going to start at their 89th Street location, which is right next to the Guggenheim. And if you've watched some of my older videos, you will have seen this space when it was Salon 94. But over the past few years, it's merged with Levy Gorvy Gallery and others to become LGDR. What we're seeing today is Marilyn Minter's most ambitious exhibit to date. The show is across all three floors of this giant space. There are six gallery areas total, and in it she's created sculptures, videos, photographs, paintings, and prints. If you're not familiar with Marilyn Minter, she's known for exploring, quote, beauty, representation, autonomy, and desire through a feminist, sex-positive perspective. And she's done this for the past 50 plus years. I really like how in each of her works, you're not quite sure what the medium is at first glance. So for this, for example, you're like, is it a photo? Is it a painting? The works in this room are enamel paintings on metal and they capture various sensual parts of the female, so for example, mouths. These water fountain sculptures are some of my favorite works throughout the show. There's really something intriguing about them. They really draw you in and you almost can't stop looking at them, almost because you're trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> but there are a few placed throughout the show on multiple floors. Most of the works in this room are part of Minter's Bather series, where she captures women bathing. And this is a common subject matter captured by many of the greats with an art history. But Minter is portraying these women through a woman's point of view. They're still beautiful, but they're not on display for a man's pleasure. They're confident, they're individuals, they have varying body types and tattoos. This room features a series of painted portraits of women that Minter admires. They're also enamel paint on metal, like downstairs, and you can probably spot right away the likes of Lady Gaga, we'll see Monica Lewinsky. Minter says the quote, I paint people I admire. They become a metaphor for the times we live in.
There's a little peek at the Guggenheim, which is a stone's throw across the street. In general, I just really love Mentra's stance on beauty and glamour. She says the quote, the whole industry is really considered superficial, frivolous, and contemptible. It creates body dysmorphia and self-hatred, but at the same time, it's one of the few places where women have power. Nothing is black and white, nothing. We're now going to head down Madison Avenue to see LGDR's second location, which just opened at the beginning of April. However, we are going to have a quick coffee stop on the way. I know I was complaining about coffee in my last Upper East Side trip, so this time we've decided to pop into Ralph's for a coffee break. It's a little chilly outside, so we're going to sit inside, and I will say, such better coffee. Great coffee. Also, the decor is fantastic, but, you know, it is Ralph Lauren, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Twenty-five blocks later, and we are at LGDR's second location. So this actually used to be Scarstead Gallery, but as of early April, it's now LGDR. And this is their inaugural exhibit, which is a group show titled Rear View. 
and it consists of over 60 paintings, sculptures, works on paper, and photographs that explore the representation of the human figure as seen from behind. This is a new candle sculpture by Urs Fischer that's a recreation of the Metropolitan Museum of Art's Roman marble Three Graces, which represent beauty, mirth, and abundance. And this figure admiring the works is Pauline Carpetus, who's a very famous British patron of the arts, who owned the original marble version of this work before it was acquired by the Met. And if you're not familiar with Fisher's candle sculptures, they will slowly burn throughout the life of this exhibit. The last ones that I experienced of his were at the Pinot collection, and I will leave that video linked above and below if you'd like to see that. While this exhibit is a little bit of a grab bag, I really do enjoy the mix of artists. It's a nice blend of modern artists and contemporary artists, and I think it's actually a great representation of LGDR as a gallery. They represent a lot of great estates for modern artists, but also a nice group of contemporary living artists as well. And while the show brings together a group of works all focused on the back of the human body, it explores further into how this positioning can evoke contemplation, longing, voyeurism, refusal, fetishism, and defiance in the viewer. I think the placement of this work by Jenny Seville is so powerful. It really just highlights the beauty of the building and the building really highlights the beauty of the painting. The final show we're going to see today is at Anton Kern Gallery, and this is an exhibit of works by Ellen Birkenblit. The first thing I immediately notice is the presence of these beautiful tigers. The last few shows I've seen of Birkenblit's 
They've had her signature female figure and peacocks, but I feel like these tigers really bring this gorgeous intensity and contrast against the black in her works. I always enjoy Birkenblit's compositions. It almost feels like we're looking at pieces of a storyboard, particularly the pieces that are focused on the main character experiencing a suspenseful or climactic moment. I also really appreciate the very liberal use of black just because I find it to be really unique. You don't see it in a lot of works, probably because it can be a bit polarizing. The only other artist that comes to mind that does this as well is Summer Wheat. Upstairs is a series of gouache on paperworks, and there's only one canvas painting on this floor, and it happens to be the largest in the whole exhibit. It's on my right here, measuring at over 10 feet long, which is impressive. I hope you all enjoyed this trip to the Upper East Side, taking a peek at LGDR's new space. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, just hit that subscribe button so you're notified when I put up a new video, and I will see you all in my next video.